Hello to all of my Christmas loving friends out there. If you love Christmas, you have definitely come to the right place. Hi, my name is Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. So I have definitely addressed the part for this video. You guys always ask me where I get my shirts, so I will link this one down below along with my super cute earrings. These were literally like a dollar. So just from Amazon, I'll put those links down below. But yes, this whole video features the beautiful and very, very popular Buffalo check. So if you love that, definitely stick around. I have some great ideas and tips, tricks, and also some new techniques to show you. So let's go ahead and dash right into these inexpensive and very, very simple Christmas DIYs. Aren't these placemats great? You can get them in black or red, which is very close to that buffalo check pattern from Dollar Tree. So I've also had found this wooden tray for only $5 at a flea market and decided to dress it up, but I was kind of torn. I wasn't sure if I should go with the black and white or the red and white. They were both super cute and would be great for Christmas time, but for whatever reason, red grabbed my attention. It looked a little bit more festive against that dark wood background. So you guys let me know down in the comments below though. Do you like the red better or the black? The very simple thing to do here is just line the inside of this tray, cutting your placemat down to size, just using some regular scissors. It's kind of a plasticky or rubbery type material, so it's really easy to cut down. I also didn't want this to be permanent because I want to be able to use this tray outside of Christmas time as well. So to attach it, I'm just using some double-sided tape so that I can easily remove this if I want to change it up in the future. So I feel like this tray now looks brand new after I cleaned it up, added that placemat down to the bottom. So cute to serve your hot cocoa on, put in the center of a coffee table, or use in your kitchen for Christmas time. So pretty, it's so simple, and so inexpensive. Up next, we're gonna make a Christmas garland featuring these Buffalo Check beads that I found on Amazon for super cheap. I'll make sure to link those down in the description box below. I'm just gonna be adding the beads onto some jute. I wanted to show you my little jute holder though too. It's just a mason jar that I took a nail and hammered a hole into the top of the lid. And it's just been a really nice thing to have whenever I'm creating garlands or just need to pull out a small amount of jute when I need it. And then my jute isn't kind of rolling all over the place while I'm trying to craft and create. And for this one, I'm just creating a really simple uh, garland using red wood beads that I already had on hand and then alternating them back and forth with the buffalo check beads. And then once I had the garland, as long as I wanted it, I tied the ends together to kind of create a circle or a necklace shape, and then added a few more beads onto there to make another small strip before adding a jute tassel to the end. This is a cute little just addition and accessory to add to your Christmas time displays. You can also paint your own buffalo check onto projects you might already have. And I have a full tutorial on how to create your own using paint and painter's tape on my other channel, The Daily DIYer, and I'll make sure to link that down below, so definitely check that out. But an easier way to do this is to actually purchase stencils, which you can find inexpensively on Amazon. I will make sure to link those down below too. And I'm just gonna be adding this buffalo check onto this plain plank of wood that is just from Dollar Tree. They come pretty rough, so I am taking a sanding block to the top and all of the edges to knock that down. Make sure it's smooth and make sure it doesn't have any splinters. And then we're just gonna be creating that buffalo check pattern on top of that, just as a sample here. But get creative and use this on anything you want for the holidays. Ornaments, 
fabric projects, all kinds of different things. So this set is from Amazon, like I said, it comes with six stencils, but it comes in three different sizes. And since our wood plank is pretty small, I'm gonna be using the smallest size stencil for this. And of course you want to cover up your work surface. We are gonna be painting, so this gets a little bit messy. And we're gonna be using red and black paint for this, and you need a foam paintbrush, one for each color. Get creative here. You can do black and white, you can do orange and white for Halloween and fall. So depending on the season or your taste, just add a coat of paint to your project in the base color that you want, and then we're gonna be using the stencil on top of that with the black in this case to get a fun Christmas style print. I just found a good spot to lay my stencil on top and then taking my black paint and my foam paintbrush over the top of the stencil. And then once your first layer is dry, you can come back and move your stencil around to, to get full coverage on your project. So a couple tips for stenciling, you wanna make sure you use really thin coats of paint and make sure you're going up and down with your paintbrush so that you get less paint bleed underneath your stencil. Make sure to hold your stencil really, really still. You can also purchase stencil adhesive spray for the backs of your stencils, which will also help keep it down and keep it from moving around. It's definitely not necessary, but it does come in handy, especially if you're using larger stencils. This is so fun. Once you have all the paint on there, you wanna remove your stencil before it dries and you can see the beautiful buffalo check we are now left with. And like I said, you just want to let that layer dry completely before you reposition your stencil to complete your project. Now to give this piece purpose, I had these black handles on hand, so I thought I would add those to the top of this little plank of wood to make it into a really simple Christmas tray. And then just additional little piece that you can use on a shelf or of course in a kitchen or on a coffee bar too. Dollar Tree also carries these cute little white and red buffalo check little cases. They're actually tech cases, so you can put your ear pods or your earphones in here, but we're gonna use it and turn it into something for Christmas time. You can see it zips open and even has a really nice pocket on the inside. I thought this would be so cute to use as a money gift giving little sets. So you can kind of fold your money up and tuck it into that pocket. You can also add little toys or even candy and treats to the inside of this too. These little Kit Kat bars fit perfectly and then you can just zip it up, add a little bit of ribbon and a bow to make a cute miniature gift. These would also be cute on a Christmas tree. That way you can turn them into ornaments. So get creative and keep your eye out for those unique items that that are buffalo check print if that is your favorite Christmas style. I think this would be so, so cute too if you added a monogram to the front or personalization with a name to really give this a special added touch. Next, we're gonna be creating a candy cane wreath. This is a buffalo check scarf that is fleece from Dollar Tree. I'm cutting off the fringe and then cutting this fabric down into strips. And we're gonna be covering a candy cane wreath form from Dollar Tree to give it that pretty buffalo check effect.
And then as you can see, I just wrapped this fabric around and around that candy cane using some hot glue to keep it all in place. And then folding over those ends and edges to make sure I have a really nice finished piece. And then of course it needed some embellishments too. So I came in with some Dollar Tree burlap ribbon and kind of layered those two together using some jute to tie it in the middle. And then also embellished it with one of Dollar Tree's white enamel bells. I also have a tutorial on how to twist and make your own simple bows. And that is over on my other channel, The Daily DIYer. I'll make sure to link that video down below too. It's a great reference on how you can learn how to make four different bows. All would be perfect for Christmas. And now we're going to turn an everyday shadow box style frame from Dollar Tree into one for Christmas time. So this one said thankful and blessed, which was really, really cute, but obviously not Christmas themed. So I'm coming in with my white chalk paint and just covering up the inside design. We're going to also cover up those rough edges with some nautical rope from Dollar Tree, hot gluing that all the way around. That just cleans it up and gives it a little bit more of a rustic look too. Also, Dollar Tree carries these buffalo check ornaments, and this bell was actually a really good big size. So I thought it would be perfect for the inside of this little frame to, instead of being an ornament, become a decorative piece or a shelf piece, or you could even put this on the wall too. I just took the hanger off the back, added some foam mounting tape to the back as well, and then applied that right into the middle of this sign. This is another Christmas ornament from Dollar Tree, which was pretty plain and simple. And I thought it'd be cute to add a name to the middle of this and use it for a stocking name tag. So I'm just adding some white vinyl on here. It's a little difficult since it is fabric and not like a paint or a plastic. But if you take your time, you definitely can make this work. Just take your time pulling the vinyl away from your transfer tape and then you have a really cute, simple, and fast way to name all of your stockings. I love all of the blank wood pieces at Dollar Tree and this is a wood Christmas tree. We're going to cover this with some Mod Podge and add a buffalo check scarf from Dollar Tree onto here. Just basically gluing it right on, letting it sit and dry for a little bit before coming in and trimming it all out with your scissors. And that will turn our plain tree into a cute buffalo check tree.
Now we need to clean those edges up again because they were a little bit rough. So I'm taking some four ply jute and some hot glue and just trimming that all the way out around the edges. And then I wanted to give you a little bit of a trick of how you can make this stand up so that it will sit on a shelf. I actually have some Jenga pieces from Dollar Tree that are just wooden blocks. And to make them look a little nicer, I'm using some brown paint to look, make them look like they are stained wood, letting that dry. And then I'll be hot gluing these pieces all together at the bottom so that this little tree will stand up. This next one could not be more quick and simple. I'm just using a piece of scrap fabric from the fleece scarf from Dollar Tree in my last project and tying it and hot gluing it around a Dollar Tree pillar candle and also tucking some greenery up under there too to really give it that Christmas effect. Next, we're going to be using this cute buffalo check style gift bag from Dollar Tree as the base of a Christmas tree. You can also use regular gift bags. You can usually find them for about a dollar even at Walmart. So keep your eye out for some cute ones. I'm stuffing this with some styrofoam from Dollar Tree. And then you'll also need two of the Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. This is a trick on how to make these kind of bare looking trees look a little bit more full. When you double them up, you can just take off the bottom there and you can double these up to make them twice as thick. So you'll have one on one side and then one on the other side and then you just fluff them up and it becomes one big Christmas tree. I would love to hear what theme your Christmas tree will have this year. Leave those down in the comments below for me. I have a winter wonderland themed Christmas tree and I think this year we're gonna do a fun one for our family tree and give it a Grinch theme. And then here's where we are going to fluff these, put the two together and kind of combine them to make the one Christmas tree and kind of twisting the branches around each other too. And then I added some hot glue to the bottom there and stuck that right down into the styrofoam. And then of course you can decorate up your tree however you like. I'm adding some buffalo check matching ribbon to make a bow for the top and then adding some cascading little bow tails down the sides too, tucking them into the branches.
Let me know down in the comments below which one of these projects was your favorite that you would like to try this Christmas season. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are new so you can join our cozy Christmas cottage family here. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I'll have more Christmas DIYs popping up on your screen that you can check out next, and I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays!